This video contains the results of two neural networks. Both of them are YOLO v4 Tiny running via the C++ library Dark Help. On the left, I use the MSCOCO pre-trained weights and config file that comes with Darknet. On the right, I use the network that I trained myself from dozens of dashcam videos. MSCOCO contains 80 different classes while my network only has eight classes specific to dash cam footage. Right from the start, you can see some of the differences in the output. Two of three traffic lights are not detected by MS Coco, and many more objects are detected by the custom dash cam neural network. Here's another quick example of traffic lights detected by the custom neural network, but not by MS Coco. One big difference is the size objects need to be before they are detected by the neural network. Note the traffic light detected by MS Coco on the left side. While MS Coco misidentified two objects here, my own custom network also confused a barrier for a vehicle. Traffic light detection continues to be interesting, and at this location we see MS Coco detect a new object, a bench, which I don't have in my own network. At this intersection, pay close attention to the traffic light that's detected by the custom neural network on the right hand side. We can see the light turn from green to yellow and finally to red. Let's back up and see that again. Meanwhile, the traffic light on the very right hand side is detected as green and will be seen changing to yellow and red as well before the overhead light turns back to green. I suspect that it's purely chance that the neural network was able to guess that this traffic light is red. There aren't many bicycles in my data set compared to vehicles and people, so I was pleasantly surprised every time a bicycle was correctly identified. This is one of the rare instances where MS Coco missed it, but my custom network picked it up. This scene is particularly interesting. MS Coco gets very confused by a large black garbage bag. It is mistaken for eight different objects over the span of a few seconds. A person, a bus, a chair, a backpack, an umbrella, a handbag, a horse, and an elephant. While the video continues for quite some time, there isn't much else to add that hasn't already been covered. I did notice one additional object that MS Coco detects, a fire hydrant by the side of the street. If you've watched my other videos on Darknet, Dark Help, and YOLO neural networks, you probably know that I've long avoided using the MS Coco pre-trained pre-trained weights. As seen in this video, the results aren't quite as good as a custom neural network, though I admit they were much better than I expected. With a little time and effort, a custom network, even the tiny variation of YOLO as seen in this video, can be trained to perform quite well. Each 1920 by 1080 video frame takes slightly more than 3 milliseconds to process on a mid-range GPU, meaning it can easily run in real time to process 30 or 60 frames per second video streams. See the description below for links to the neural network software used to create this video.